So a few people who have followed my work, have read my book, Omar Dorian Looping, and had consultations with me, have said that it's just too difficult to do Omar Dorian Looping. Or they've said, what's the point? What's the point of denying yourself? They see everyone else around them is just eating, giving into their cravings, eating and drinking throughout the day. Why do that to yourself? Why deny yourself for, for 23 hours a day? My answer is no, you don't deny yourself. You do not deny anything that you really, really want. You delay. You delay, but you don't deny. And this is the difference between giving up drugs or smoking or something like that. Or some alcoholics, they, you know, they give up drinking. They can't say, I'm going to delay, not deny. They can't do that. Imagine you're addicted to hard drugs or any kind of addictive, destructive substance. You've really got to cut it right out, which is very difficult. Very, very difficult. But intermittent fasting is not as difficult as that because you delay, but you don't deny. You can still have it every day. You just delay. Well, a drug addict doing that, still having it every day, he's still a drug addict. But this is different. It's a lot easier. Someone who's, I help them give up smoking and they've given up and, but they said it's so difficult now when they go to a bar and they see their friends outside smoking, they think I can never do that again. That is just so hard. And often they just go, oh, forget it, sack it. I'm just going to go back. And they go back smoking. Give in to their cravings. I'm telling you that Omad Orin Looping is not as difficult as that. You do not deny anything you want. If you've got it, you really want to eat this, whatever it is. You know, I have these cravings for my favourite sushi, the fatty part of tuna. This is quite expensive. The fatty part of tuna dish, sushi dish, is absolutely delicious. And I crave it so much. I'm not going to deny myself that. But I might delay it if I feel like in the morning, I delay it until my eating window, which is 5 p.m., 5 to 6. And then I've got time, I've got all day to plan to get things ready, to make it a very festive, very wonderful occasion when your eating window comes and you really do enjoy it. So, so that's the answer. Delay, not deny. And if anybody offers you anything, and you might get offered some incredibly um, attractive looking food or drink, I always bring tubs around with me in my bag. At all times, I bring tubs. If someone says, would you like some of this? If you ha come have some of this with me. I say, that looks great, I'd love to, thank you. I'm, I'm not gonna have it now, but I'll put it in my tub. And sometimes they say, what? Why don't you eat it now? I say, no, I've, I set boundaries. I only eat between five and 6 p.m. I do intermittent fasting for 23 hours a day. And they're impressed with that. If they've never, wow, you really do that? And you, you're gonna put that in a tub and have it later? It's not always possible, but most of the times it is. You know, if it is food that you can have a few hours later, I got a tub and I, I've got a, a flask, you know, I bring a bottle with me. If someone offered me soup or something liquid, like that, smoothie or something like that. No, I'll, can I put it in here? I'll have it later when my eating window comes. Delay, not deny. You don't deny yourself anything. You can, whatever you feel like, you can have it, but you use self-control and you have it in your eating window. Unless you decide to do a splurge day. Now, I talk a lot of my clients, people who have cons consultations with me, and they say, so you can have as many splurge days as you like, as long as you stick to the protocol. The OMAD Orin Lupin protocol I developed is the four ones rule. You have one meal on only one plate for portion control. It's one plate with one caloric beverage of your choice. For me, it's a smoothie, eggs, raw eggs smoothie with other things, and in one hour. That's the four ones rule. You can have as many splurge days as you like. A splurge day is you can eat as much as you like all day. That's a splurge day. As long as for every splurge day, you do a 48 hour fast. So for every splurge, you do a purge. Now the purge could be before the, the splurge day or it could be after. And I like to build up a few in credit, if you, if you see what I mean. If you could, like, if you got plans you go into a party, you go into a wedding, an anniversary party, or some kind of big event, someone, and there's gonna be loads of food and drink there. I'll do a 40 hour, eight hour fast before that event. That's the purge. So then I could splurge on that day. So you never ever do two splurge days consecutively. You could just do a splurge day and then a 48 hour fast, and another splurge day, and then another 48 hour fast, but it wouldn't be ideal. You'd, you know, I only do a couple of splurge days a year, really, or sometimes, I suppose, yeah, four or five a year, every couple of months. If there's an event that is just too good to, to do intermittent fasting, you're missing out on so much, 
then call it a splurge day as long as you do a purge either before or after one purge for every splurge and if you like me you you keep in credit i do a purge beforehand and i'm in credit one purge then so then if i have a splurge day i'll do another purge after that so i've got another credit and it really is beneficial to stick to these restrictions set limitations and stick to them set limitations with all your life you know i set limitations to no more than like one hour a day on junk food for the brain electronic and in interactive entertainment watching youtube watching tiktok or whatever or playing games i set that limit one hour a day and sometimes i go like three or four days i, did, I was so busy i didn't have time for any junk food for the brain and then i can sit down me and my wife and we do a bit of a box set splurge a binge box set binge you know we, we watch like quite a few episodes or something because i've built up I've, I've earned those credits i've built them up and this is how you feel good about yourself you have self-control you make limits you make rules for yourself and you know that these it's going to be very beneficial and you stick to them so i will i will do for the rest of my life i will do omad or in looping and i will occasionally splurge but for every splurge i will always do a purge and i try and keep one purge in credit and they, these can be very enjoyable times i mean most people just eating a normal day they just eat cut multiple times a day they don't really enjoy that it's a normal day for them but when you're doing omad orin looping and you do a splurge day oh my word it can be so heavenly enjoyable and this is the thing i'm learning about setting these restrictions setting these limits for yourself you set limits and you stick to them you know set limits with all sorts of things and you stick to it and you feel good about yourself you've got self-control you've mastered yourself and this is the sign of a real masculine man who's someone who's got mastery over himself his organs his feelings his emotions and that's really what it's about having having self-control over yourself over your hormones over your feelings over your actions and most people just give in and this is what i i, I say this to everyone who says to me why i can't do all my door in looping it's too difficult and i tell them that and they give it a go and then they, if they can stick to it they feel really good about themselves it's like a it's the opposite of a a negative circle it's, it's a positive circle it's a positive reinforcement you feel good about yourself and you look good you're losing weight and you get into the best shape of your life and you you can wear slim fitting clothes and you feel fantastic and that motivates you to carry on omad or in looping so i hope this has been motivational if anyone would like to have a consultation with me if you'd like me to coach you how to do omad or in looping you can reverse many health conditions you will add decades to your life and i don't take that lightly i mean that if you start omad or in looping lifestyle now you will extend your life by decades and you will get into the best shape of your life because omad or in looping creates some really beautiful bodies if you do omad or in looping and do it properly the way i designed it you will get into the best shape of your life 